we're going to uh, Lighthouse. Natasha is driving today. Yeah, <laughs> yes! This guy just lost a wheel right in front of us. Holy cow! Oi, 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 oi. This is the cemetery and this is the country road and it's not paved. Uh, they built this lighthouse, built this couple houses right next to it, filmed and left. It turns out it's not so sexy. Right here was the capital of first Scythians, then Sarmatians, and the biggest trade post in, in the ancient Greek world. So it's weird, but it reminds me of the hills in California, Southern California. This is probably one of the best fishing grounds in the world for freshwater fish. I kind of already have enough. I'm ready to go back. Ta -da! Guess where we are stopping? I think you know the place. Oh yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Konstantin and welcome to Letters to King. We're living in today's Russia, explained by the insider you can trust. As usual, I'll give you my honest opinions. No BS, no propaganda, no fake news. If you find it interesting, Please watch this video until the end and subscribe so you don't miss anything. Today we're going to a lighthouse, driving outside of the city and checking out this brand new lighthouse with a story. And the story I will tell you at the end of the video. Come along. Just in case you're wondering, the coronavirus pandemic is still upon us. It's getting better. We are allowed to get out of our houses for the occasions to drive around the city and this is what we're doing today. I'm not going by myself, I'm taking my entire family. That's a little break from the isolation and from staying inside. Ooh, we just need it real bad. Anyway, we're not going to contact anyone outside. Um, pretty much just into the car, driving there, getting there, being there, getting back to the car and getting back home that's it so we are going to the sea the seaside um, basically we have planned a picnic on the seashore that's the sea of azov uh, about 20 minute ride from the place where we live not too far and the whole family is coming so we're going to have a fantastic time so we are getting out of the city Yay! this is basically the city line guys at work Это Демонстрация силы. This is how the Russians drive. Говори по-английски. Okay, this is it. We're leaving Rostov and Don. Here is the sign. Yeah, the sign is right there. And if we keep on going, Ukraine is about 40 miles, 40 kilometers, but 25 miles is the border of Russia and Ukraine. Okay, this is just right outside of uh, Rostov. This is a very south of Russia. The beginning of the uh, the Sea of Azov, which is a part of the Black Sea, which is in part of the Mediterranean Sea. Beautiful places, really. Uh, basically, I grew up in in the place like this. So this landscape is native for me. Steps. No mountains, just a large river. Delta of a large river and the steps around. Look at us. I, Natasha is driving today. Yeah, <laughs> yes! Ole and Dasha are having fun. Hello. And I am the operator today. Well, as usual. And Michael is 
right out back. Yeah, you can hear his voice. Can't see him, but you can hear him. Well, basically, this is where I grew up and um, love this place, actually. It's my most favorite city in the world and, uh, well, my hometown. Enough said. Check this out. This guy just lost the wheel right in front of us. Holy cow! He lost the wheel. Wheel just rolled off. Wow, that's incredible. Okay, this is the heart of uh, Russian largest agricultural region. We grow everything here, uh, from wheat to rye to veggies, fruits, anything. And if you get out on a flat surface, you can see, you know, fields, agricultural fields up to horizon. This is a good view right here. Fields everywhere. I'm not, I'm not sure if you can see that, but this is where the Azov Sea is born. The river of Don and the Azov Sea, they joined here. The delta ends and the sea begins. Right just about there. This is a bit better view. Okay, we just turned off a highway, and this is a local road that's bringing us to the sea and the, actually to the lighthouse. Not the best quality. Oi, 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 this is the cemetery and this is the country road and it's not paved. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> yeah. To me, it's unpaved road and to Michael, it's earthquake. We made it pretty safely. We saw an accident, but we're okay. Now we are settling in. This is what we brought, the picnic basket. We decided to park here, but then changed our mind and driving down to the sea by the lighthouse. Gates open. We are free to go. Hey, this is the lighthouse. That's our goal. Так это реквизит к фильму. This is a real steep grade. <laughs> well, we've made it. This is the lighthouse. <laughs> this actually is a prop for a movie that was filmed here a couple years ago. A uh, movie company from Moscow came. This, is, this was the set, I believe 2017. They came here, set up a set. Uh, they built this lighthouse built this couple houses right next to it, filmed and left. And everyone else has been using it ever since.
The place is beautiful though. This is our small picnic basket. This is a pretty, pretty geographically interesting place because this is the birth of the Sea of Azov. Right there on the horizon, you can see basically the end of the sea. Okay, uh, the river Don flows into the Azov Sea and gives it water uh, just just about just about on the horizon right right there and you can see the other side of the sea it's really 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 um, narrow at this point but it wides widens greatly towards the black sea okay this is south and this is north Pretty cool place, I like it. Fairly hot today, about high 80s, perhaps low 90s. The lighthouse. Uh, let me see, I think. Uh, the walls are made out of carton. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not sure which movie this was the prop for. And I have no intentions of watching it whatsoever. It looks very real from afar, but it's so fake when you get up close. close. What a sight. My lovely wife is enjoying herself. nice <laughs> you know at first it sounded like a sexy idea the lighthouse the picnic the seashore the sea well we got here it was a, a little adventure of getting here we got here and spent about half an hour and you know what it turns out it's not so sexy it's way too hot there are no shades shadows anywhere michael wants to swim there is the, certainly this seashore is not for swimming okay there's no access to the sea there's no sand stones and it's extremely shallow and full of dirt okay and um, he's upset and everyone's hot and upset and well it's a really nice place to come and see just you know just take pictures and uh, observe and and um, you know visit once once but 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 uh, people live in grill and mid if you see but but just come and check mark you know i've been here done that that's about it place is beautiful but it's way too uncomfortable for a picnic on the sea you can barely see but on the horizon right right over there there's a cape okay and that's called cape of the city of taganrog right behind the cape on the other side there's a border between russia and ukraine so ukraine is extremely close you can basically see it from 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 here On the other side, right behind the lighthouse, a couple miles up north, the, the city of Tanais space where it was located. Right now it's a historical monument and f 
further, the city of Rostov on Don. This is well the river, the, the delta of the river Don, and the Don flows into the Sea of Azov. It's right, right there on the horizon, right there. This place is popular. There's so many people. Uh, this is Sunday. Well, Sunday noon. We came here about 40 minutes ago. And you know what? Honestly, I've had enough. We haven't even started our picnic, but uh, it's enough. It reminds me, you know what? It's, it's weird, but it reminds me of the hills in California, Southern California. Actually, it's a very interesting place, historically and geographically, okay? Historically, uh, this, this right here was the capital of first Scythians, then Sarmatians. It's very, very known and very famous <coughs> tribes, people, ancient people who lived here some 4,000 years ago, perhaps. Then, about 2,000 years ago, this right here was uh, the northernmost outpost of the Athens Union, the Greek Athens Union. The, the, the Greek, well, wasn't empire, it was a union of city-states, right? This was, uh, I'd say, five miles that way, was uh, the most northern city, the outpost that provided safety from the barbarians from up north and the biggest trade post in, in the ancient Greek world because the barbarians from, well, where Russia is right now is was considered bar barbaria, like a place of wilderness, right? And uh, people from the north would come and bring furs, uh, wheat, and other goods to trade with the Greeks and Greeks would give them weapons, metals, something like that. So right here where we're standing was the famous city of Tanais. That's how it sounds in Greek and Russian. Okay, Tanais, just look it up. It was an extremely important city, um, town, outpost in, in uh, Athens Union. That's pretty amazing, but people actually come here to swim in the sea. Whew, that's how much people love sea. I tell you, this water is dirty. It's right at the junction between a large river that flows into the sea. And the river brings a lot of dirt, a lot of mud. The waters are, are, are muddy and, and then the bottom of the sea is it's shallow, I'm telling you. And, the bottom is mud, it's not sand. Because of the, you know, tens of thousands of years, the mud was being flown into the sea. So it created like this mud field. It's great for fish. This is probably one of the best fishing grounds in the world for freshwater fish, because this is freshwater sea. But swimming here, no sir, not for me. I mean, I'd rather drive down to Crimea, which is like six, seven hours from here and swim in the beautiful crystal clear rocky bottom black sea or fly to turkey to the mediterranean which is not too far from this place either and mediterranean is my number one spot for swimming for seas for spending time it's even better than the caribbeans but swimming here oh no people are so tired of the quarantine they, they flock, they are flocking to this place today. They bring in their portable grills, grilling meats, and look. Oh, the entire families come here. Uh, not my kind of uh, spending Sunday afternoon. I'd rather grill meat in my house, in my yard, uh, with all the comforts all around me. 
rather than driving here. And well, I understand these people because they most likely live in these small, tiny apartments and they use any opportunity to be outside in the nature. So Ukraine is right behind my back. And I tell you, uh, this war is, and then this tension between our country is terrible. I'm not discussing who's right or wrong here. Um, this is just another story, but it's really, really sad. So you understand what I'm talking about is I would, from this point, I would drive hour and a half. I was in, you know, I would cross the border, I'd be in Ukraine. Then I would drive in Ukraine, through the Ukraine for another, you know, three, four hours, not being Crimea, or I could go further, drive to Odessa, which is a fantastic, one of my favorite cities in the world. And this border that's behind me, it was hypothetical, you know, uh, it was like a border between the United States and Canada. It was not like a real border, okay, people would just check your paperwork and that's it, you're free to go. Now, there's a war going on about 40 miles from from this point that's just that's terrible this is our picnic basket cheese some salami water apricots tomatoes oh yeah, a good one but i think we we're, <laughs> we're gonna get out of here before we even start this is hot today i think it's low 90s my girls and the boy went down to the sea to find a little pathway in the tall grass to you know to actually to get to the water but and I'm here safeguarding the seed because as soon as we leave somebody will take it but I tell you I kind of already have enough I'm ready to go back to a small cafe we're gonna stop on the way back and I'm ready to do that we moved to uh, a little hut with some shade, but it's reserved to someone. So someone comes soon and kicks us out. But hey, you know what? A few minutes away from sun is not bad. I usually love sun, but I've been inside for the past two years and my skin is extremely fair, white. And um, I'm just, I'm, I don't like sunburns. I didn't bring any sun, sun, sunblock, so uh, I'm trying to get away from the direct rays. Breezy, very windy. Smell is fantastic, you know, this step grass uh, sea salty well, actually you know what not salty actually it's lovely it's, it's lovely Speaking of the inhabitants of a local fauna, black widows, vipers, very venomous vipers, uh, all kinds of good things crawl in the tall grasses. People. By the way, this is still the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. Do you see any people wearing masks or socially distancing themselves? Uh, nope. Welcome to Russia. Very steep, very hilly seashore.
vodka anyone? You know, it's pretty funny. Even though the black, uh, the Azov Sea is the freshwater body, it smells like here, right here, down by the water, it smells like salt, like a regular salty sea, like the ocean. It's incredible. Sand. It's not bad. It's hot. <sighs> well, moving further. I think the entire coast, this part of the coast, consists of these pebbles. Large, bo large boulders and this uh, seagrass. You know what? This place is beautiful in its own very strange way, but beautiful. There we go. Okay. I hope it's not too, too muddy. And there aren't any snakes here. Not bad. Hmm. Looks like mud. Oh shit, this is mud. Ay ay ay. Basically, this is a plain flooded with water from the River Don that flows into the city, uh, into the sea about four, four miles from here to the north, right there. That's where the delta ends. That's why there's so much mud and it's fantastic for agriculture. The soils are so rich in nutrients. Actually, this place reminds me of uh, the river of Nile in Egypt. Kind of same thing. There you go. That's a good view, finally. Someone's having a Pepsi. I think it's a knee deep, about a mile into the sea. And yes, this is mud, it's not sand. I don't know if you can see on the video, but this water is brown, it's dirty, it's muddy. There's no way I would like to go in there and swim. Going back. Do, 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 do. This mud is dry. Actually, it's not too bad. I'm not gonna be covered with it. Hope there are no teaks, vipers, or spiders here. This is sand, very strange. 
sand here, mud right over there. Hmm? Like this place? Opa! And speaking of ticks, there are tons, tons of ticks around and Lyme disease is actually quite common around this part of Russia. Actually, uh, there's a traffic jam. I'm going up and I have to wait for people to get down. Because there's only one, there's enough space for one person. Oh, hot. This is where I just came from. I'm filming this again because this is absolutely fantastic. I love this place. No, let me tell you, down there by the sea is much better than right up there. You know, I just caught myself. I sound like an old man on camera. I don't like it here, blah, 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 blah. Everything's good. Having fun. We actually will have to drive up one of those hills. That's going to be a challenge. Very steep. Okay, we have a few friends of us joined. And now, real picnic. Ta da! Pizza! <laughs> Fresh tomatoes, cukes. Oh man, this is the best picnic. Bananas, apricots. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is living, my friends. Check it out, huh? You like it? Главное, чтобы не прокуратура, все остальное. Пускай приходит. Конечно, можно. Вау! So proud of my wife. She can arrange everything out of nothing. It's pretty amazing, huh? Check it out. And I thought that we were leaving soon. Okay. Up, up ahead. Right there, you can see the, the the city line of Rostov, the city of Rostov and Don. And this is where Don River, right there, flows into the Azov Sea. And this is just the very, very beginning of the Azov Sea, the very tip. You can see it's so narrow. You can see. Uh, the, the coast on the other side so basically this is a bay and right over there the city of Taganrog that's the uh, last major Russian city right before the Ukrainian border and the Ukrainian border is right um, behind the city of Taganrog Quite a few people are on this area, but further on both sides, 
It's actually um, pretty nice. There are houses right there. They they built houses right right on top of the hills. And I tell you, they have quite a view. This is where we were just down below, right there. This is our picnic spot. Hey, this is the land where I was born and grew up. Really like this place, you know, it's a fantastic place, fantastic land and fantastic people. Hi. Welcome to LA. Greetings from LA. <laughs> Сейчас машину сядем. We're getting out of here, driving out. Look how many people there are. Wow. We're going home. We had a fantastic time. Uh, at first I thought, yeah, I don't know about this place. But then I, I, I learned more, I discovered that you could, you know, climb down to the sea and overall that's a fantastic place. Loved it, okay? That's another dot on our map of the local surroundings where we can go and spend an afternoon. Whew, we all liked it, we had a picnic. Didn't eat much, but uh, it was fun. Right up ahead on the horizon, you can see the city of Azov. The Azov Sea is named after that city. It was originally founded by the Turkish a thousand years ago uh, in 1065. And then Russia had a series of war with Turkey and finally, you know, it became Russian but some 300 years ago. The city of Azov. nearing the city of Rostov-on-Don. Rostov, the city limit. We're almost back home. decided to stop and get a nice coffee. Guess where we are stopping? I think you know the place. Okay, we're having three iced coffee and two McFlurries. Держи. На. Ай. 
Я держу. Вы держите все? Да, держу. Guys, thanks for watching. Keep entertained, keep healthy, keep wealthy, and stay tuned to Letters to King.